and welcome to a new episode of National Days. The 17th of August represents a very special day for all Indonesians. It represents 64 years since the establishment of independence for the country. Joining us now is an Indonesian ambassador in Egypt to discuss some of the issues facing Indonesia today and talk us through the meaning of their national day. The Republic of Indonesia, the country in the South East Asia and Oceania. Indonesia comprises 17,508 islands with an estimated population of around 237 million people. It is the world's fourth most populous country and has the largest Muslim population in the world. The Indonesian archipelago has been an important trade region since at least the 7th century when uh, the kingdom traded with China and India. Local rulers gradually adopted Indian cultural traditions and religious and political models from the early, early century. And Hindu and Buddhist kingdoms flourished. Indonesian history has been influenced by foreign powers drawn to its national resources. Muslim traders brought Islam and European powers fought one another to monopolize trade in the Spice Islands of Malaku during the Age of Discovery following three and a half centuries of Dutch colonialism. Indonesia secured its independence after World War II. Joining me now is Abdelrahman Mohamed Fakhir, Ambassador of Indonesia. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. And uh, very happy uh, National Day. Uh, I'd first of all like to start talking about the meaning of this day. I understand that the 17th of August is a very special day for you. Could you tell me a little bit about the roots of this day, what it means, what exactly is being celebrated? Thank you, Amira. 17th of August is a kind of sacred day for Indonesia, where we, uh, the uh, two leaders of Indonesia, Ahmad Sukarno, our pre uh, president, as well as Muhammad Hatta, our vice president, uh, proclaim our independence. And of course, we, uh, this is a proclamation uh, to free our, ourselves for, uh, from the colonial powers. And uh, it's time we celebrate not only those in Indonesia, but also overseas, Indonesia and overseas. And there is always uh, a reflection of our side, how much we have achieved the uh, objective as well as the goal the, uh, the goal of this proclamation of independence. So uh, this is the time for all Indonesians to celebrate as well as to reflect uh, the, uh, what are the objective of our founding fathers that we should achieve. And uh, how is this usually celebrated uh, back in Indonesia and indeed how do you celebrate it in your uh, ambassadorial missions abroad? Well, uh, it might be like a long uh, ma a month uh, activities. Mm -hmm. So we start actually in July, uh, where uh, many uh, communities in Indonesia, as well as our overseas, uh, making some uh, uh, or organizing activities uh, to uh, strengthen our patriotism uh, and spirit of nationalism and unity. And of course, uh, to celebrate that we have uh, uh, come to now, this year, 64th uh, anniversary of our independence. So uh, we are happy that we have what we have achieved so far. And, but still, we need to struggle because uh, the, the objective of our founding fathers is still far from our uh, the implementation. <laughs> Indonesia consists of 17,508 islands, about 6,000 of which are inhabited. These are scattered over both sides of the equator. The five largest islands are Java, Sumatra and Kalimantan. At 1,919,440 square kilometres, Indonesia is the world's 16th largest country in terms of land area. Its average population density is 134 people per square kilometer. And uh, perhaps we could now go into that uh, 64 years of independence, uh, quite some time, but not uh, really that long. What are the proudest achievements of Indonesia 
over this uh, period of time? Well, uh, at least until now, we still intact as one country. <laughs> because Indonesia is a big, big country, the, the world's largest archipelago country in the world. So, uh, and consists of 70,000, more than 70,000 islands. It's not easy to manage this big country with uh, more than 400 ethnic groups uh, with dialects, different dialects and diverse tradition and culture. So uh, we are happy that uh, we are proud that we are uh, still uh, uh, united and we still uh, impose, uh, enjoy the stability as well as progress in development. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, uh, we just uh, uh, held uh, the uh, parliamentarian as well as presidential election and this is the, the second time that we uh, elected our uh, president directly mm -hmm. because in the past it is parliament that uh, elected the president but now it is the people directly elected the president. And uh, of course we uh, also made uh, quite uh, progress in uh, economic development and we now uh, have self-sufficient See in, 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 in food, and we contribute to uh, regional uh, peace and stability, and as we contribute also for, the, for making a world uh, uh, a better place to live.